Time to finesse some uh, flash drives today. And this one is gonna be interesting because let's have a look. It arrived looking like this. Pretty uh, melted. Connector seems to be really wiggly on it, but looking at this cover right here, I think it's the least of this uh, device's worries at this point. Let's uh, begin by taking it all apart. Uh, this is a really lovely design um, of Flexar flash drives. And uh, they got two little prongs holding this uh, swinging protector. Set them aside. So the part that heated up and melted this plastic cover is this SM38 controller. Interesting enough, it's the same, it's exactly the same actually, <laughs> it's exactly the same uh, unit as the one I worked on uh, last week. The unfortunate part here is this dot. Let's find out. Now let's find out if that is a... Um, maybe, maybe it's not so bad. I thought it was maybe burnt NAND. <clears throat> Made me question things. Uh, okay, so the connector does not look healthy. It chipped off all the way, but in a nice way. I'm actually going to reuse this board. We're just going to get a controller for it because I think that's all this unit is going to need. Yeah, the board is really, is really good. So let's find out why it was creating, creating all this ruckus. First of all, let's find out if um, VCC and VSS are grounded. They're not. brown it actually does look quite brown let's um, let's put it to the test let's put a connector on here I left this thing in my ultrasonic bath last night to get it all nice and flux free I was doing putting it to some substantial amount of work the last couple of days was filled with gunked up flux. So every now and tossing it into a ultrasonic bath is a really good idea. 
Let's make it as OEM as possible. Uh, anchors are slightly damaged, but that ain't nothing we can work around with. So the only thing that's different about our connector and this board is that these two tabs need to be cut out. We don't need them. Oops. Lock this in. So that's um, what we've got happening here. Now assuming that this cap is shorted and that's the reason why our device is acting up like this, we should be able to um, see it hit up pretty fast. Yeah, that went up very fast. Let's have a look at it again. Yep. gonna take this thing out of here And we're going to check if things are heating up still.
Okay, ready? No heat. And look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, that device is now functional. Up here, all we have is uh, Macintosh HD. And there we go. Lexar. There's the data. All right, that was fun. So that's one of the ways to uh, fix a device that's not uh, working if it's overheating. Um, I don't know exactly what it would have uh, shorted out that cap, but as you can see, the unit is now brought back to life without even needing to swap out the controller or the NAND. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and if you need a service, check out the description box for our contact info.